I just want to go back to to uh, season 74. Alam mo ba, you could you could have you could have became a four-time UAP best setter. <laughs> Laga, sayang, hindi joke lang. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. His history yun, ah. I mean, if if you became a four-time best setter, grabe yun. Okay, kasi I was looking back. Saan ba hindi nag-best setter si Jem? Kasi season 72, best setter season 73, and then season 75. What happened in season 74? So I wanted to check the stats to see how close the race to best setter was. So this is what I saw. And the best setter that time was FU's Giselle C. Mm-hmm. So yung average per set niya was 10.59. Yung sayo was 10.19. So g- ganun ka dikit yung, yung race. Tapos yung pangatlo pa was Rhea Demokolangan, who up to now is still playing on a national level, international level. So, uh, grabe. W- what are your thoughts on this na ganun pala kadikit yung, yung race in season 74 and like mabibigat din yung mga nakalaban mo like Giselle C just, just won a championship in the PVL. Um, for me kasi na, Anton, uh, yung pagiging best setter, bonus siya eh, yung individual award. And talagang focused kami nung time namin with Coach Roger na kailangan talaga namin makapag-final four man lang. I mean, finals na actually kasi season 74 yun yung first finals uh, appearance namin. So, kailangan namin masungkit kahit isa. But, uh, yeah, if you're gonna base it on stats, diktikan talaga yung labanan noong time na yun kasi season 74 yun na yung rise of, vol- of Philippine volleyball eh. Doon na nag-start maglaro yung mga players sa Smart Araneta, Mall of Asia. So, doon talaga lumaki yung volleyball ng biglaan. Actually, nagulat kami na Wow, dati nung nanon, nung naglalaro kami dito sa San Juan Arena, iilan lang yung mga tao, and then kami pa yung nagbibigay ng ticket sa mga tao, kami pa yung naghahanap ng mga supporters namin, parents lang namin nagsusupport sa amin, and then pagdating nung padulo na, nung batch namin, parang biglang, hindi na namin expect na ganito nakarami yung mga nanonood, like yung iba hindi na nakapasok talaga ng San Juan Arena, and then may mga ibang players, uh, I mean, ibang fans also na hindi na rin nakapasok ng Smart Araneta, ng MOA, kasi wala ng ticket. So, sobrang-sobrang grabe yung season namin, yung last two seasons namin sa UAAP na sobrang iba talaga yung nilaki ng Philippine Volleyball. Jem, just a follow-up, if you don't have a rival setter, kasi syempre, your focus was just on, it, on the team as you explained, sino yung setter na nag-push sa'yo na parang pag alam mong kalaban mo tong team na to and this team has this setter, parang may extra motivation ka to perform well or or nacha-challenge ka? Siguro, um, sa akin si Rhea, di makulangan. Kasi nung time, actually nung elementary pa kami, nakita ko na si Rhea na naglalaro um, with nasa lipa. And then sabi ni Coach Jerry sa akin, tandaan mo yung apelido na yan. Kasi nga, ganun kagaling si Rhea. Bata pa lang, elementary pa lang. And then matangkad siya. So parang sabi ni Coach Jerry, tandaan mo yung pangalan niya yan. Well, sure ako makakapagdaruyan ng college. And then, yun nga, nangyari nga. And then naging teammate ko pa si Rhea for NCR. Nag-represent kami ng NCR para sa palarong pang bansa. Talagang beshi naman kami ni Rhea, but hindi, na, hindi kami talaga rivals. And I think sobrang... Ano yun, iba yung feeling pag nakalaban mo yung isang Rhea de Makulangan. Kasi sobrang pamilya kasi sila ng setter eh. Like yung mga kapatid niya na dalawang lalaki, setter also. So ganun kataas yung volleyball IP ni Rhea pagdating sa setting. Alam, alam niyo, recently ko lang na-realize na Rhea is really tall. Yeah. <laughs> I, saw a recent, yeah. I saw a recent pick of the national team. Tapos si Rhea parang uh, in, in, like Parang ano na siya, she's like one of the spikers na rin. <laughs> and that's rare to have, like a tall setter. Yeah, iilan na lang yung mga ganun setters. And we're really happy, I'm really happy that she's back in the national team also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights.
And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.